My name is James Rouse. I'm the chief strategist here at the Mercedes-AMG Petronas Motorsport team. Our car now produces over 50,000 channels of data. From every single car in the race, we have GPS coming off. We have 300 gigabytes of data. You put it all together, we're walking away from the weekend with several terabytes of absolutely data-rich information. One big challenge that we face in the world of race strategy is that we have so much data coming in. We go to 21 different tracks around the world. And just because the data we've gathered at one track is useful doesn't mean we can apply even a tenth of it to the following track. Every single track is different. They're like a living entity. And even across the weekend, you can expect a performance change of two and a half seconds. That's incredible. But how do you take all of that data and understand what's really, really important, digest it down and carry it over to the following track? And that's the difficulty we face in the world of Formula One. Spotfire is a fantastic tool. We have a number of internal data sources and they're separated across various different areas. What we have to have in place is links between Spotfire and our own internal data sources to make sure that we consume that data and visualize it in a strong way. And that's what we've put in place with the help of Tibco. We've developed systems that allow us to bolt straight into our strategy systems to extract how overtakes happen and where they can be visualized. The same on our simulation side. We've bolted into our simulation side to make sure that we can see the outcome of it and really dig down into the depth of the data. Spotfire has improved how information is transmitted from source to the user, it's much, much faster now. You're not reliant on an email system. People can go and access the data when they need to and dig into it without the communication flow that existed previously. And that's one of its strengths. It enables communication to be across one to many, many people in the organization, and it's instantaneous, whether that person's at the track or at the factory. The next steps for us are ultimately, we see areas where we can't quite model effectively everything that's about to happen in the race, predict everything that's gonna happen in the race. And one of those key areas are, what is gonna happen if we change tires? Are we gonna get past that car in front? Are we gonna be able to overtake him? If we are, how many laps will it take? Where will it be on track? And it's probabilistic models that come out of that. And the reality is, overtaking is a fantastic area, but there's very small amounts of data and it is a very unpredictable entity. And the next steps for us are building systems and models around that in order to improve our understanding of it.